traveler, Paimon. I only just arrived myself, so I'm still getting ready. Ah, oh, and Kale just passed by a moment ago. She said she had some things to sort out at the inn where she's staying, but she'll meet up with us when she's done. Apparently, Tainari and Sino both went out, but she stayed behind because she wanted to help us. Not too bad. After reviewing it again with fresh eyes, I came up with a new theory which seems to hold some water. I'll attempt to explain it as simply as I can. I believe that each of the four things in the prophecy refers to a different field of knowledge. So, in a way, the prophecy is a test of the reader's intelligence. But it's unlikely for any one person to have expertise in all these different areas. So I suggest that we seek out one expert from each and get their opinion. Also, in two out of the four areas, the prophecy seems to want us to find specific people. It may even turn out that the people themselves are the answers. Hmm. So it sounds like we should put our heads together and list out the people who can help us. Exactly. I think we can go through each riddle in turn and generate four groups of names to match the four questions. All right, then let's start from group one. The first riddle was... A flower that is not of this world. Personally, I would still go with Albedo for this one. Alchemy is the most likely to have to do with otherworldly things, and he is by far the leading expert in this regard. Exactly! You're the creator of the Tetratanic Sweet Flower! Who knows? Maybe that's the flower we're looking for. Huh? You really think so? <laughs> Oh, but what about Tainari? He's a forest watcher and knows all about plants. If it's a flower we're looking for, maybe he's the man for the job. All right, I'll add him to the list as well. On to group two. This subject is a guide who will never get lost. Hmm, that's kind of abstract. Hmm, does it just mean someone who never loses their way? Wait, but they have to be able to guide others too. So, it's not quite as simple as that. Oh, you mean Mona? Yeah, she definitely count! Mona... Yes, she certainly seems very confident. And she can use her astrology to guide people. Would Bennett count? Well... His luck's so bad that as long as you go in the opposite direction from him, you'll always be going the right way, right? Hmm, I see. I, I suppose I can't argue with that logic. Add him to the list! Finding everyone won't take long, so one extra person won't hurt. <sighs> I know! Would Outrider Amber be a valid candidate for this category as well? Yeah, she would! She's got a great sense of direction after all. As a matter of fact, when the Traveler and Paimon first came to Mondstadt, she was actually the one who gave us directions. Yes, she's certainly a good guide. Is there anyone else? <sighs> Let me think. Ah, yes, I believe there may be one more. Albedo once made a set of equipment for Mika from the Reconnaissance Company. He's their surveyor. And an exceptional pathfinder. He's even instructed others in the discipline of surveying before. So, in my view, he's highly unlikely to lose his way, and would be very good at helping others find theirs. Cool! Another one for our list! Wait. Kale should have been here by now. Wonder what's taking her so long. M sorry. Could we continue our chat somewhere else? Oh, you want to go see how she's doing, right? Sure, let's all go.
Take it easy. Hi, Kali. Hope we're not intruding or anything. Is everything okay? Ah, Sucrose! I, uh... I was preparing some... Is it time or... Don't worry. Thank you. I'm right... So let's pick up where we... Next up is the third line. Uh, you really think so? Then what about Kaya? He's the cavalry captain and a rather popular figure, but... You think there's something fishy about him too, huh? Hmm... I can't help but agree with you there. There's the tone-deaf bard! Uh... Acting Grandmaster Jean? For example... When also... Rosaria doesn't strike. Oh, Kali, you probably she stopped by the Alc. I thought maybe she was trying to find him. For a lot of people might have given a more tactful. Just that's why I don't think of her. Rosaria doesn't look. I can definitely. She's a tough cook. In that case, I think Sai. Ah, true. Long oh, and Paimon also nominates. Ru I've also got. Alrighty, right here. Wait, there's one more person. Huh? You mean Timaeus? Yes, him. Um. Truth be told, he swore that he wouldn't say a dishonest word. Timaeus has a crush? Yes, that's right. Well, who is it? Do you... I've never met her. All I know is that she's from Liyue. Timaeus says that she's fun, has a great... Since we're on the topic, helping Timaeus win the lady of his dreams was also one of my goals. But how can we help with that? I don't know. Make sure he uses nice paper and a fancy envelope when he sends letters to her? Yeah, yeah, yeah! I had the same situation once in the Avidia forest. I helped another forest ranger out by delivering a love letter to the co-worker she likes. <sighs> yep, that sort of thing exists. Is it any good? Um... I mean... It looks nice. <laughs> Sounds like a no. Hmm. Alright, guess we'll put Loverboy down on the list then. Okay, so last of all... Lisa, perhaps? A librarian? A when I... Maybe Kale. She read a lot... Oh. Do I? Of course you do. I'll put you on the list. I prefer... Ah. Uh, hmm. Cle all right, then. Clemen... Well, do we have to ask absolutely everyone on the... It is. Okie doke. Also... No problem. We can do... You and the Traveler are practically joined at the hip. So you capable Kali and Sen Okay. Rest assured that the I plan on starting from the person with the most defined stronghold. So let's go to the library. Lisa should be there. Stronghold. That's an uh interesting word to Um maybe Den? No, that's even... How about... Slayer. Oh no. That was a bad word choice. Now Sucrose is using it. It's all my fault. Lisa, might I ask if. Huh? Sucrose. Kale. What are you doing here? I can only sucrose that they were Kale ing on someone. At least uh, that's as far as I know. Oh, please, just stop it with these puns. I beg you! Um, is Lisa not here at the moment? Surprising, isn't it? She went out. I'm afraid it's just us here looking for information. Except me. I'm not here for information. Like you, I came here for an abortive search for the librarian, who is also my academia senior. Oh! So you studied in the same darshan as Lisa? That's right. Her mentor in Sumeru was also my benefactor. We were both Spontamod students. 
Wow, that's cool. Oh, what sort of prophecy? Hmm, I see. You want to ask them about the flower that is not of this world, and me about the one who would never lie. But there's no rush. You don't need to answer right away. We're just here to tell you about the situation. You can take your time to think it over and submit any thoughts you have in written form to the Sucrose mailbox. The Sucrose mailbox? <sighs> yep. I was thinking about it on the way. And although they seem like trick questions, there's a lot to mull over once you get down to the details. So, I decided to place a mailbox next to the alchemy crafting table. Everyone can submit their written answers there when they're ready. We don't have to call it... <laughs> I... Sounds like a good... Agreed. Understood. Thank you all so much. Okay, let's take them off the list and carry on... Mm -hmm. I'm pleasantly surprised to see those two introverts getting along so well. Do you get the feeling that Kale's return to Mondstadt has emboldened her more contrarian side? Yes. I'd noticed that traveling and meeting old friends are both good for the body and soul. And isn't rediscovering one's youth while revisiting old haunts a worth- When I first met Kale, she'd never known happiness, but things are different now. Kale is a very sensitive and introverted child. From the time she's been in my care, I've observed that she's actually a very lively character by nature. So, might I assume that your respective claims of looking for plants and artists- I wouldn't say that. Both Kale and Genius Invocation TCG are very- Would it really kill you to just say yes in this situation? Fine. Well, it won't hurt to give her some more time. Sounds like an extension of your own- You could say that. I suppose it- m As such, academic resources equate to social capital. It is not on- But the relationship between- Oh, so- I would think of us more as sibling. <sighs> as much- I can understand that. What you described fits the- I By the way, who's the eldest between you? Let's not go down this rabbit hole, please. In terms of age, I'm the eldest, of course. He just doesn't want to admit it. But your mental age is younger than that. I dare say even by enough to be the youngest sibling. No. You will never see me admit to being the youngest sibling. We'll leave Kali and Sucrose to it. Figured, let's try our luck at the bulletin board. A lot of people tend. <laughs> nice! Just as we hoped! There's a load of people here. Huh? Even Lisa's here. Hey there, Traveler and Paimon. It's been a while. How have you been? We've been doing pretty well. You look surprised, cuties. Is it because of me? Teacher is not at the usual place. <laughs> oh, please. It's not as if I'm glued to my chair. I like to get out for a little fresh air every once in a while. Mika's here today, so I thought it'd be a good time to introduce him to Bennett and Razor. They're all out and about quite often, so it's helpful for them to get to know one another. <clears throat> uh, hello, everyone. M my name is Me. I, I look forward to working with you. No need to be so formal. We've known them for ages. Windbloom. Fun? Actually, we haven't gotten to the fun part yet. We've been busy investigating a prophecy. A prophecy? What kind? A good one or a bad one? Gosh, that all sounds quite fascinating. I can't believe I made it onto your list of names. You really think I'll be able to help? Believe. Right. B okay. Oh, there's a meticulous... I will think I'll... You still have other people. Okay, but let's head over to Star Snack, and even if we don't... Oh, you... <laughs> Where to next? Let me check my notes. Huh, this way. Got it. 
Kale, please follow me. day there are several people over there amber wow and eula's with her too hmm? oh it's sucrose and click kale we were just talking about you oh, right i don't think you've been introduced to noel before kale this is noel maid of the knights of favonius nice to meet you kale i missed you the last few times you were in mondstadt's Nice to meet you too, Noel. My name is Polly. But you already knew that. Relax, you two. There's no need to be so courteous. We're not on some kind of diplomatic mission here. Klee, what are you doing here? Are you planning to blast some fish? Nope. Klee's on patrol with the other knights. Huh. Now that you mention it, it looks like everyone here is a knight of Favonius except for Kale and me. I'd heard that there was a very young knight in the ranks, but it's still a surprise to see with my own eyes. Kale, what do you do? I'm a trainee forest ranger in the Avidia Forest. Trainee? It means I'm not officially a fully qualified forest watcher yet. I'm still learning. Oh, you're just like me. I'm still working towards becoming a fully qualified knight. Technically, though the distinction is hardly relevant right now. This isn't a very formal patrol. We're just chatting. <sighs> Don't panic, Kale. Just pick a topic and join the conversation. Don't panic. Whatever you do, don't panic. It's just Amber and her friends. There's... Let me guess. Were you chatting about the new guests in town? Yep. A few folks from Sumeru have come to visit, so we're brainstorming a few nice surprises for them. Amber! Ah! Uh, sorry. I... <laughs> At least I didn't say anything about what the surprises are. Oh, no. How am I supposed to join this conversation now? What do I say to that? Speaking of nice surprises, we've actually had a fairly big one recently. What kind of surprise? Tell me, tell me! Uh, I'm saved. Sikros is giving me a lead-in. Hmm. What an interesting prophecy. So essentially, you're gathering information to help you solve the riddles, correct? I'll do my best to help. Thank you so much, Eula. Anytime. There's no need to answer right away. We'll put a mailbox next to the crafting bench for people to drop us a note once they've thought of something. I'll drop something in there. Nice idea. I think we can all commit to writing a note. We'll see what we can come up with. Yep, don't worry. You can count on us. What route are you taking today? We started in the Stormbearer Mountains. If um, no. There's always next time. We'll join up with you after w Oh, yeah, so, um... We'll be on our way for now. See you later. Have... Are you okay, Kali? Uh... Was it that obvious? No, no, not at all. It just looked like you had something on your mind. Mm. So that means it was obvious. Whatever is bothering you, you can talk to me about it if you want. Thanks, Sucrose. Well, uh, the truth is, I don't really know how to act around Amber and the others. Really? I thought you two were good friends. We are. Amber's a really important friend to me. I don't know. I guess if I'm being completely honest, the problems prop the first time I came to Mondstadt, I was really immature. I didn't want to let people in, and I was generally pretty awful to everyone. Without Amber, I might not even be here today. And because of that, I really look up to her. I think of her as my role model, but after trying and failing for several years, looking back, it seems silly that I ever thought like that. Huh, Kali. Don't say that. <sighs> um, Sucrose? Would it be okay if I...
told you a bit about my past? and pieces about her but still uh, i'm sorry we've only just met and i'm already dumping all of this on you this is why i get so frustrated at myself no 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 it's fine i'm really glad that you're willing to tell me all this people don't open up about their deepest feelings unless they end i mean um but even so you still listen to me when I talk my head off about alchemy. <laughs> it's a relief to listen to you talking about yourself for once. If you hadn't told me all of those things... R really Yeah. Everyone, all the feelings that you talked about just now... I totally get it. When you were saying about how you try to think about what to... In fact, before meeting you, I'd never met... Oh, um... I'm not very good at giving words of comfort or anything. And I'm not gonna tell you to just get over it or stop worrying about it. Sucrose has stopped talking. But for some reason, this doesn't feel awkward at all. In Sumeru, I always like to find a quiet place to just sit and watch the scenery. But it's always by myself. I never thought there'd be a day when I could do this with someone else by my side. Mondstadt's breeze is so gentle and soft. Hey, Kali. See that cloud over there? Doesn't it look like... one of my test tubes? Um... Uh... I don't think so. <laughs> then... Maybe we're not quite on the same wavelength on everything. At least... <clears throat> Thank you, Sucrose. I feel much better after talking to you. Yeah. It helps a lot, doesn't it? Your tetra... what? Two of my favorite things I've made. They're really cool. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, you'll definitely have to show them to me sometime. I brought some crackers with me. Sh sure. Aw, look. They're enjoying the scenery together. Mm -hmm. Shall we go play with them? No, it's fine. Let them sit for a while. We're not what Kale needs right now. She needs a new friend. Someone different, who's never met her before. I don't get it. Is there a difference? There is. You'll understand once you're a little older, Klee. People can draw different kinds of strength from different kinds of friends. And right now, Kali needs someone that's just not the same old me. Timaeus? And we also have Rosaria and Mona? What kind of mishmash ensemble is this? Good question. What kind of a motley crew is this? It's been a while, Traveler. You two are looking pretty good. I trust you've been well. Yep, we're definitely faring a lot better than this poor guy on the ground. Hey, please don't rub salt in my wound. I really have been trying my best. Oh, you're one to talk. If this sister hadn't grabbed you in time, then you would have been seriously hurt, if not dead. I, I know, I know. I really am grateful, miss. I, I can't thank you enough. Don't mention it. Just lending a hand. 
quite literally. And had she not lent him a hand and pulled him up, he would have gone tumbling down the cliffside. What happened? Did Timaeus almost fall off the cliff? Uh, well, so what actually happened was I came to Star Snatch Cliff today to pick some flowers and ran into Mona on the way. She took a look at her scry glass and advised me to turn back because it would be dangerous. But you still came up here anyway? Well, yes, I did, because there's something I just had to do. Oh, I hardly think giving flowers to your crush is worth throwing one's life away for. It's rare to run into someone with a death wish in this area. I, I don't have a death wish. I just uh, didn't think it would really come true. I mean, when Mona said it would be dangerous, I, I thought I'd be fine as long as I watched my step cautiously. I'm, I'm sorry, okay? I, I was wrong. I I'm telling you, I'm just here chasing the love of my life. Okay, that explains you. But why is Rosaria here? I was looking for a quiet place to escape the crowds. So that's why the Scryglass just showed danger instead of fatal danger. <laughs> Very funny. Anyway, uh, Traveler and Paimon, uh, what brings the two of you to Star Snatch Cliff? Just trying our luck. We've got a lot of people we need to see today, so we've been all over the place. Actually, you're some of the people we were looking for. Huh? Huh, I see. So, all we'll need to do is find some clues, make a note, and drop it off at the mailbox? I, I can't believe there's a prophecy like this, it let alone that I have a part to play in it. Oh, I guess this means everyone will find out about my crush now. I, I came here because I wanted to give some Cecilia's to the girl I love. No, 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 no one asked. Please, do not subject us to your gushing about your girlfriend. Uh, oh, well, you saw right through me. You said you need clues, right? Well, in that case, Mona Magistus the Astrologist will provide you with a personally handwritten letter. Just wait for it to show up in your mailbox. You can be on your way now. We won't keep you any longer. All right, then let's head back for now and meet up with everyone else. Will do. Uh, this is all so embarrassing. Uh, thank you both. Take it easy. everything go well? Yep! We managed to find and talk to everybody! We got back a little early, so we took some time just now to put the mailbox together. We got really lucky today. The vendors were feeling super generous. Uh, don't worry about me. We've already wrapped up everything on our to-do list for today. Traveler, Paimon, why don't you get some rest while I keep an eye on the mailbox? You're definitely your master's student, Sucrose. <sighs> Stop. You're embarrassing me. Uh, wait. Actually, there's one thing that still needs taken care of. Paimon's starving. I'll go with Sucrose to return the leftover materials to the vendors. Yeah, now would be a good time for a break. Once everything is ready, let's meet up here again and collate all the information we've gathered. Sounds like a plan. This one, and this one, 
sun is super full. Is everything packed up and ready? What do you think about meeting up at five to go to my house? Yes, everything's ready. I've packed some great wine and smoked ham. Oh, your parents will love it. <clears throat> ham? Look, we've known each other for quite some time now. Don't you think it's been long enough for you to remember that we only eat bacon in my house? Hmm. I must remember to get some milk today on my way home. Please, feel free to pay a visit to Cat's Tail anytime. Enjoying the scenery? Oh, Tonga Bard! Are you here for some food as well? Oh, I can put something on your tab? Well, that's a pity. I already had a few drinks before coming here. I shall take you up on your kind offer another day. There should be no shortage of opportunities in the future. Anywho, you should be getting ready to thank me. I come bearing good news. Hmm? What kind of good news? Behold! What is it? It's what you need the most right now. <laughs> the answer to the prophetic puzzle. Simply head to the location marked on the map and you'll find the lantern you've been looking for. However, if I were you, I wouldn't just go and reveal the secret right away. As you've seen, a lot of people have been laboring hard to uncover the answer. A secret is like a well-aged brew. The aroma from the bottle is sweetest when revealed in the company of friends. Well, then it's settled. I'll leave you to your business for now. Feel free to find me for a chat again once you're done working through the prophecy. <laughs> also, if you have some time, we could organize another fast track love poem class. Oh, you're starting that up again? I sure am. Nobody else has signed up this year, though, so the duty to learn falls on you. Anyway, see you later. Fenty always looks so relaxed whenever we run into him. <sighs> Paimon can't help but be jealous. Excuse me, if you don't mind, could I chat with you for a moment? Oh? Who are you? You may call me Scarlet. Just like you, I'm a traveler visiting Mondstadt from another land. Mind if I buy you a drink? Leaving the door open for another time, I see. I can tell that you've dealt with a lot of people during your travels. You can tell? Well, we are very experienced adventurers, after all. I can. That's why I tried to strike up a conversation with you in the first place. I was on my way to go shopping earlier when I overheard your conversation next to the crafting bench. From what I could gather, you are trying to investigate a bizarre prophecy? Yep. Bizarre is definitely the word. Ugh. Don't you think it sounds just like the kind of story that would happen in Mondstadt? <sighs> anyway... That's why I wanted to ask you a favor. If and when you manage to unravel the answer to the prophecy, could you let me know what it is? Not so much the prophecy itself, but Mondstadt as a nation. That's what I'm interested in. I was born in a distant land, but I have family and friends who once lived in Mondstadt for a long time. They said that it's a great place full of fairy tales and romance and recommended that I come for a visit. As it happens, someone I know has an anniversary coming up soon. So I figured this would be a good time to come here and see all the sights that she once saw. What do you think about Mondstadt so far? It certainly lives up to its name as the city of romance and freedom. <laughs> we think so too. So, about the prophecy... Thank you. You're very friendly. It's been a real pleasure to meet you. I'll leave it to you then. I hope you continue to enjoy the city and have a wonderful day. She definitely isn't dressed like a local, huh? Where do you think her hometown could be? Please find me a flower that is not of this world and a guide who will never get lost. Find me one who would never lie. As well as a legend that never ends. Huh? Huh? <sighs> I never thought I'd have someone secretly following me, even in a free city like Mondstadt. <sighs> Good day to you, miss. <sighs> 